Hi everyone, I'm Maestro Neo and welcome to my channel. For this video, I'm going to teach you how to illustrate quadratic equations. To start with, do you remember this uh, expression 5x squared? And what do you call this expression? And the answer for the question is, it is an example of monomial. It is also an algebraic expression. And of course, it is also a coefficient. The expression is said to be a monomial because uh, the given expression is a polynomial with only one term. It is also known as an algebra expression because it is the combination of number and variable. And it is a coefficient because there is a numerical and literal coefficient. If the teacher asks the student what is the coefficient of pi, so the answer is x squared. If the question is what is the coefficient of x squared, so the answer is 5. So 5x five squared are both coefficients. How about this example? 3x plus 5 equals 2. Is it an expression or an equation? So what is your answer? Is it an expression or an equation? And the answer is, it is an equation because of an equal sign. How about this example? 3x squared plus 5 equals 2. Is it an equation or not an equation? And the answer for the question is, it is an equation. 3x plus 5 equals 2 is an equation. 3x squared plus 5 equals 2 is also an equation. If both are equations, what is the difference between the two equations? 3x plus 5 equals 2 is an equation of the degree 1 or it is known as linear equation. So meaning to say that if the equation has a degree of 1 in terms of uh, its variable, then the equation is linear equation. While the second equation 3x squared plus 5 equals 2 is an equation of the degree 2 or it is known as quadratic equation. So what is quadratic equation? In mathematics, a quadratic equation is a polynomial equation of the second degree and the general form is ax squared plus bx plus c equal to 0 where x represent a variable and a, b, c are constant, wherein the value of a is not equal to zero. If the value of a becomes zero, then the equation is a linear equation. The constant a, b, and c are called respectively. a is the coefficient of the quadratic, b the linear coefficient, and C, the constant term or free term. The equation 2x squared plus 5x plus 3 equals 0 is a quadratic equation. The value of a equals 2 and the coefficient of the first degree term equals 5 and the value of c or the value of the free term equals 3. In the second example, x squared minus 3x equals 0. This one is little more tricky. Where is the value of a? In fact, a equals 1. Meaning to say, if there is no number indicated on the left side of the second degree term, it is understood that the value of a equals 1. And the value of c in the given example is equal to 0. Why? Because the value of c 
is missing. In the third example, 5x minus 3 equals 0. It is an equation but not a quadratic equation. Why? Because the given example or the given equation is an example of a first degree equation. Because the value of the second degree term is missing. To check if you understand the topic, I will give you an activity wherein you are going to identify which of the given equations are quadratic and which are not. I will give you now a couple of seconds to answer the activity. Okay, time's up. Let us now check your answer. Now, in the given exercises, you may observe that there are three quadratic equations and there is also three not quadratic equations. Of course, 3x plus 8 equals 15 is not a quadratic. It is an example of a linear. y squared plus 5y plus 10 equals 0 is a quadratic equation because of the power of 2 in the variable of y. 12 minus board z equals 0 is not a quadratic, but it is a linear. 25 minus n squared equals 4n is a quadratic equation because of the degree 2. 3a times the quantity of a minus 2 equals negative 7 is a quadratic equation. Why? Because once you uh, simplify the given equation, so it becomes 3a squared minus 6a plus 7 equals 0. And the last equation, 1 half times the quantity of b minus 2 is not a quadratic equation. Let us proceed to the second activity. This time, what we are going to do is to write the given quadratic equations in standard form. ex squared plus bx plus c equals 0. Then identify the value of a, the value of b, and the value of c. Your time start now. Time is up. Let us now check your answer. And the answer is in uh, number one, the standard form of the given quadratic equation is 2x squared plus 3x minus 7 equals 0. And the value of A equals 2, the value of B equals 3, and the value of C equals negative 7. While in number 2, the standard form of the given equation is x squared minus 49 equals 0. The value of A equals 1. The value of B equals 0. And the value of C equals negative 49. That's all. Thank you for watching and see you to the next tutorial. Keep safe everyone. Bye-bye.